Peggy 16. Hello everyone. You may be curious about why I am wearing this hat. As you can see, this is Mario's twin brother, Luigi's hat. Luigi first appeared in the Mario Brothers arcade game, which was first released on July 14, 1983. This was about 30 years ago, and exactly one day before the Famicom launched in Japan. Luigi has appeared in many games since then, but most often in a supporting role. Even though he has appeared in so many games, he is still timid after all these years. We have several games featuring Luigi that we released in 2013, so we'd like to call it the Year of Luigi. The game that will kick off the Year of Luigi is Luigi's Mansion 2. Ever since he first appeared in 1983, Luigi has been a great partner and rival for Mario. 18 years after his first appearance, he finally starred in Luigi's Mansion in 2001 for GameCube, his very own game. In order to rescue Mario, Luigi searched through a haunted mansion with his ghost-sucking vacuum, the Poltergeist. Despite his great performance in that game, Luigi soon returned to his sidekick role. All these years after his leading debut, this great supporting actor is finally getting another shot in the limelight. Today, Mr. Miyamoto who created Mario and Luigi and is the producer on this new game, would like to discuss the game with you. Come to think of it, this is the first appearance in Nintendo Direct for Mr. Miyamoto as well. Please take a look. Konnichiwa, Nintendo no Miyamoto desu. Kondo, 3月20日発売が決定しましたルイジマンション2について 少し具体的にご説明したいと思います。そうですね。これもね、今から えっと、で、で、
でそれがこう屋敷を進んでいく鍵になりますいろんな使い方を試してみてくださいさらにねオバキューブにはこうストロボと別に新機能のダークライトというのがついたんですねでこれは消えてるアイテムを見つけ出す力があるんですこのダークライトでいろんな隠れてるものを見つけ出して次へ進んでいく面白い謎解きがいっぱい詰まってますいや本物の掃除機でねいろんなものをバンバン大きなものを吸い込んでしまうと後始末すごい面倒ですよねけどまあこれはゲームの世界ですからもうバンバン気持ちよくいろんなものを吸い込んでみてくださいはいろんな建物を探索していくんですけれどもちょっとユニークなんですよお化けが取り付いた階段や時計などねそれぞれの建物に取り付いたなかなか個性的なボスお化けを探していくんですねで建物ごとにいろんな仕掛けとかお化けの穴が待ち受けてますこれが楽しいですよさあいよいよね具体的なこうお化けとの戦いの方法とかを説明しましょうで今回ねお化けを吸い取る前にこうストロボでスタックさせるんですねそのアクションが入りましたでこの歯切れいいアクションとこう引っ張って吸い込む魚釣りのような操作これがお化けとの戦いで本当に気持ちよくさせてくれますお化けもねそう簡単には捕まらないですね、えー、道具を使ってストロボを防いでくるお化けとかこうサングラスをかけてたりね後ろから襲ってきたりだからポルターガイストとかねこう物に取り付くお化けを探すとかね当然ねテレサもちゃんと出てきますよさまざまな種類のお化けが出てきますそしてこう最後に紹介したいのがこのお化けですお化けの犬ですねどうやらゴールドに目がないようで金でできたものを盗んで逃げますでこのお化けを追いかけるのにはダークライトで足跡を見つけて追いかけるんですねともかくねどんな活躍をするかゲームを楽しみにしてくださいここまでの紹介を聞いていただいてだいたい予測はついたと思うんですけれども今度のルイージマンション2えー、お化け屋敷ということで結構ホラーなゲームなのかなと思うんですけれども楽しいお化けたちとのコミカルなやり取りとかを中心にした陽気なホラーゲームです操作はねこのいろんなことができるので覚えることは多いんですけれどもねこう直感的で自然な操作になってますだからそれをこう一つずつ覚えていくのも楽しみの一つですね立体感たっぷりの本当にあるかのようなお化け屋敷の中で自分が類似になったつもりでおばきゅうでバンバン物を吸って手応えを感じてくださいそしてこういたずら好きのおばけたちとゲームを楽しんでみてください Thank you Mr. Miyamoto I'd like to share with you some information on the new multiplayer modes that we will be introducing in Luigi's Mansion 2 This mode supports up to four players and let them play cooperatively as they climb up a tower called the Skyscraper. In addition to local wireless play and download play, the game also supports online play. All of the players will take the role of Luigi and will use the Poltergast 5000, Strove, and Darklight to progress just like in the main game. Players can work together to defeat all the ghosts on each floor in Hunter mode. Escape each floor within the time limit in Climber mode. And search for hidden ghost docks in Chaser mode. Luigi's Mansion 2 will be released on March 28th in Europe. Now for our next title. First, please take a look at this. Luigi is sleeping very soundly, isn't he? We are just about to show off his great performance in this game, so why is he sleeping? Let's play a trick on him. As you may have guessed, This video is from a new installment in a Mario and Luigi series of role playing games. In this game for Nintendo 3DS, Luigi's dream acts as the setting for the game. As you saw in the video, 
Sometimes the player must touch Luigi's face as he sleeps to solve puzzles, or have multiple Luigi characters appear in battle to defeat swarming enemies. Since it's only a dream, Luigi can be a powerful, brave hero in this game. The Nintendo 3DS version of this Mario and Luigi game will be released this summer. Of course, as with the previous games in the series, Mario will also be involved. We'll have more details on this game soon, so please stay tuned. In the next game I'm about to discuss, Luigi may not be the main character, but he is one of the main characters. We are developing a new Mario Golf game for Nintendo 3DS. It includes deep golf gameplay that those familiar with the sport will appreciate, but also straightforward controls that anyone can enjoy. The game features a wide range of golf courses from traditional designs to those inspired by Mario's world as well as many familiar faces and game mechanics. The developer Camelot has deep knowledge of golf that they are applying to this game and are working really hard on the course design controls and the series trademark super shots. This game will launch this summer, so please look forward to more information soon. Next, I'd like you to take a look at this. Since we are declaring that 2013 is the year of Luigi, I think we need to show this as well. It's a Wii U game I'd like to share with you. In fact, this downloadable content for New Super Mario Bros. U will change the existing 80 plus courses into all new courses. By using this design, we are currently developing a new adventure starring Luigi called New Super Luigi U. Because his brother is not appearing in this game, Brothers is excluded from the title. This will be large-scale downloadable content, which is similar to the development of full software, so it will take some time. This is coming to the Wii U eShop in this year of Luigi. Today, I have some additional news about Wii U that pertains to one of our well-known characters that dresses in green. He might like the same color as Luigi, but I'm actually talking about Link. In Miiverse on Wii U, communities have been created for games that have already been released, and users have freely shared their experiences regarding already released games, but there are no communities for unreleased games. Therefore, there has been no community available for users to discuss The Legend of Zelda or the two new games in the series that we announced in our last Nintendo Direct. We really appreciate the enthusiasm of the Zelda fans, and at the same time, we thought it would be nice to create a place to freely discuss the series, so I asked our development team for their help. They are going to create a Miiverse community for The Legend of Zelda that will be available today. Mr. Anuma may make an appearance from time to time, so please welcome him if you happen to see him. Now, I'd like to hand you directly over to Satoru Shibata, who will continue this Nintendo Direct in Europe. Thank you, Mr. Iwata, for your introduction. 
Here in Europe, we are also celebrating 2013 as the year of Luigi. So hello everybody and welcome to the dedicated European section of this Nintendo Direct, focusing on upcoming Nintendo 3DS games. Even though I said this Nintendo Direct will focus on Nintendo 3DS, I'd like to start with Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate, which will be available on both Nintendo 3DS and Wii U. However, this time, I don't want to talk only about the games, but also about something special coming to Europe very soon. Please take a look. Each version of Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate will have its own bundle. As you saw in the video, the Wii U Premium Pack will include a premium Wii U console, a Wii U Pro Controller, and a copy of the game. The Nintendo 3DS Limited Edition Pack will include a black Nintendo 3DS XL, available for the first time in Europe, and a pre-installed copy of Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate. Both bundles will be available on March 22nd, the same day as the games are released in Europe. In addition to this, the CirclePad Pro XL will come to Europe on the same date as Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate. The Nintendo 3DS version of Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate offers customizable camera controls, like an option to automatically recenter the camera on a monster, or the use of virtual pad on the lower screen to move the camera. However, the CirclePad Pro XL will be a good alternative for those who prefer to play with two analog sticks on their Nintendo 3DS XL. While we are talking about the two different versions of Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate, I'd also like to look at how the Nintendo 3DS and Wii U version can connect with each other. We have a special video from the producer of Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate, Ryozo Tsujimoto, who will explain. Hello, Europa. I'm doing Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate multiplayer. I'm not going to explain it now, so please, everyone, keep it up. Today, I'm going to play Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate in a different situation. First, the 3DS version and Wii U version. This version is the same. え両方えと同時で発売させていただきます。えこのえ 3DS バージョンと Wii U バージョンはセーブデータの共有ができますので、例えば外でこの 3DS 版を遊んで遊んでいただいて、帰ってきてこの Wii U 版で引き続き続きを遊んでもらうことができます。またえそれを持ち出したいときはこの Wii U あ 3DS 版でデータを引き継いでいただいて、これでまた外で遊んでいただくことができます。このようにですね、外では 3DS 版、家ではえっとリッチな環境での大画面での Wii U 版で遊ぶような環境もできるようになっています。さらにですね、今遊んでいますように、Wii U 版一人に対してえっとこの 3DS 版3台までのローカル通信に対応してますので、例えば家でえハンティングパーティーとかをするときはこのような一人が大画面で。後の方はこの自分のデータを 3DS 版で持ち寄ってこういうふうにマルチプレイを遊ぶことができるようになっていますまた Wii U 版の方はインターネットを通じて遠く離れた人ともプレイができるようになっていますのでぜひそちらの方もお楽しみくださいそれではあの仲間のハンターたちが待っているので僕もゲームに戻りますどうもありました。
Before moving on to the next title, I'd also like to tell you that both a black and a white Nintendo 3DS XL will be available as standalone systems over the next few weeks. The launch timing is different country by country. Pre-check when they will be available at your local store. There is another Nintendo 3DS title coming out in just a few weeks that many fans of the long-running Castlevania series have been waiting for. Castlevania Road of Shadow Mirror of Fate challenges you to uncover the secrets behind several generations of vampire hunters. Dave Cox, the game's producer at Konami, is here to tell us more about the title. Hi everyone, my name is Dave Cox. I'm the producer of the Castlevania Lords of Shadow series. And today I'm going to introduce our new title, which is coming on 3DS in March, called Castlevania Lords of Shadow Mirror of Fate. This is a deep action adventure game with over 20 hours of gameplay. You play four different characters from the Belmont clan, and each one has their own story to tell. This game explores the relationship between the Belmonts and Dracula. Uh, in previous games, you know, you were, you were a Belmont character and you fought a Dracula at the end and that was the end of it. But in this one, you will actually go up against Dracula but understand a little bit more about the storyline, the blood feud that exists between the Belmonts and Dracula. You'll see some familiar elements that you're used to in Castlevania games like exploration, but also it's very much a combat focused game. So you'll be pulling off really cool combos and magic and using all your abilities. Combat's really important in this game. Enemies, when they die, give you experience, and it's this experience that allows you to buy more combos. So it's important that you kill every enemy that you come across. You'll also discover Dead Knight Scrolls, and these scrolls tell you a bit about the storyline, or they might give you a hint or a clue about a puzzle. When designing this game, we very much thought about the past. So this game has one foot in the future. It's very much a modern retelling of the Castlevania mythos. But at the same time, we've got one foot in the past to give you that classic Castlevania feeling. Get ready to face down the creatures of the night as you go up against Dracula, the ultimate Dark Lord. You are the Belmont clan, and only you stand in his way. This is Dave Cox, signing out for Nintendo Direct. Castlevania Rose of Shadow, Mirror of Fate, will be available on March 8th. Next, I can finally confirm that Fire Emblem Awakening we launch on April 19th in stores and also as a download from Nintendo eShop. I sincerely apologize to you all for waiting such a long time after the Japanese and American launches and would like to show you something special we have decided to bring to Europe. The Fire Emblem Limited Edition Pack includes a specially designed blue Nintendo 3DS XL, not a Nintendo 3DS system, and a pre-installed copy of Fire Emblem Awakening. This is only available in Europe. The developers have tried to create a game that brings back a lot of fan favorite features from previous titles, but at the same time, they have taken a fresh direction, including a new style of character design led by Yusuke Kozaki from No More Heroes. As in all Fire Emblem games, these characters have unique personalities and combat skills. But in Fire Emblem Awakening, you will find more customization options than ever before. Develop your own style as a commander with new combat classes and new ways of tailoring your heroes. I would also like to give you some new details about add-on content for the game. All add-on contents available in Japan will also be offered here in Europe. The add-on contents will feature new playable maps. Each of these scenarios will bring unique benefits and will allow you to carry over to your main quest any characters you meet, as well as any gold experience or items you acquire. The first piece of add-on contents will be available from Nintendo eShop for free for a limited period of time and is called Champion of Your One. We hope that this will give you a chance to experience the extra value add-on contents can bring to your game. 
expanding a main adventure which already offers many hours of entertainment. Don't forget, April 19th is a launch day in Europe for Fire Emblem Awakening. Now, some upcoming publisher titles for Nintendo 3DS. Aetorian Odyssey 4 Legend of the Titan is a first 3D entry in an RPG series that began in Europe on Nintendo DS in 2008. Assemble your team and defeat enemies in intense first-person battles that may remind you of classic role-playing games of the past. You can explore immersive dungeons in 3D, but make sure you chart your path carefully on the touchscreen. A messy map could get you in trouble or even cost you your life. Aetorian Odyssey 4 Legends of the Titan will arrive in Europe this spring. Project Cross Zone from Namco Bandai brings together many iconic characters in a new kind of tactical RPG. And not only famous faces from Namco Bandai games like a Tekken, but also from Capcom Street Fighter series, Sega Sakura Wars and more. Plan your strategy in traditional grid-based battles. Then attack opponents with powerful moves and combos in exciting real-time combat. Project Cross Zone will be released this summer. If you are interested in downloadable versions of retail games and you haven't tried any yet, I have some news you might be interested in. We are going to run a special digital download promotion for one week, starting from today. This promotion will give you the chance to download one of our Nintendo 3DS titles as a reduced price of 29.99 euros. This title will be The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D. This is a great chance for gaming fans who have not played this title before to experience a classic Nintendo game, so make sure you don't miss out. Talking about Zelda, I'm sure you remember the special concert held in Europe in 2011 as part of the Legend of Zelda 25th anniversary celebrations. It was extremely popular with European fans, and now fans have the chance to attend some new concerts in London, Paris, and Berlin. Entitled The Legend of Zelda Symphony of the Goddesses, the concert will feature music from many games in the series. The London, Paris, and Berlin concerts will be held in May. Now I'd like to talk about some new downloadable games coming to Nintendo 3DS. Splash or Crash is an addictive puzzle game that looks deceptively simple when you first try it. The idea is to throw a stone down a well and guide it so it runs on the bottom as quickly as possible. It may sound easy, but as your stone falls faster, it gets harder to stay in control in a puzzle game that is sure to challenge your skills. As you progress through the game, you can drop many different types of stones. Splash or Crash will be available from Nintendo eShop from February 28th. Next, Code of Princess combines the action of a beaten map with the character development of a role-playing game. Take down your enemies using weapons and magic, and power up your heroes. In the game, you can master over 50 unique characters and try to complete more than 100 quests. In addition to an exciting single-player story mode, you can even team up with your friends to take on challenges in online co-op or fight it out to see who is the strongest warrior. Code of Princess will be available in Europe this spring. Next. I'd like to introduce the latest games from a popular series on Nintendo DS. These were originally launched as Inazuma Eleven 3 Spark and Bomber on Nintendo DS in Japan, but are being released on Nintendo 3DS in Europe. In this third series of the hyper-dimensional soccer RPG, Mark Evans and teammates set out on a new quest to win the Football Frontier International Championships. As with Inazuma Eleven 2, Blizzard, and Firestorm, there will be two versions of the game, each with different content. 
On top of having over 2,200 characters and 350 special moves for you to try out, new features include tactical team plays, chained goal shots, as well as different ways to scout football players and level up your special moves. This time around, the special moves are even displayed in 3D, so you can get closer to the action than ever before. These new Inazuma 11 games for Nintendo 3DS will be available in Europe this summer. Next, if you watched our Pokemon Direct on January 8th, you are probably excited about playing the new Pokemon X and Pokemon Y games we announced in that broadcast. As we mentioned, they will be coming to Nintendo 3DS in October this year globally. Before this, however, you will have the chance to play a completely different Pokémon title. In Pokémon Mystery Dungeon Gates to Infinity, you become a Pokémon yourself and adventure through a mysterious world inhabited only by other Pokémon. There are more than 20 dungeons to explore and battle through, and each one is different every time you enter. You can interact with other Pokémon in many different ways and enlist them to fight by your side. In battle, each one of them can be controlled individually and also carry out special attacks together. There is a new city building aspect to the game that allows players to build their own unique Pokemon paradise. The game also features four player multiplayer where you will be able to battle legendary Pokemon with your friends. A unique feature in Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Gates to Infinity is that you can use your Nintendo 3DS cameras to scan round objects. This will allow you to open Magna Gates. Unique entrance to new dungeons. Give it a try. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Gates to Infinity will be released in Europe on May 17th. Now I'd like to give you some more information or game we haven't talked too much about in Europe yet. Today I can tell you that Animal Crossing New Leaf will arrive in shops in Europe on June 14th. There are lots of new features in Animal Crossing New Leaf and we'll be giving you more details over coming months. But for now, we thought it would be interesting for Animal Crossing fans if the producer of Animal Crossing himself Katsuya Eguchi gave us some information on the game. Nintendo Direct をご覧の皆さんこんばんは。動物の森シリーズのプロデューサーをしています江口です。今日は Nintendo 3DS 用の動物の森シリーズの最新作、アニマルクロッシングニューリーフについて少しだけご紹介しようと思います。今回の動物の森も。プレイヤーの皆さんが個性豊かな動物たちが暮らしている村に引っ越してくるところから始まりますがこれまでと大きく違うことは村の役場で村長さんの秘書として働いているしずえさんの勘違いから村長さんの役割を引き受けることになってしまうということです。村長さんになるといってもこれまでのシリーズ同様に何をするのもしないのも自由なのはゲーム全体を通して変わりませんので。村長さんだからといってやらなければならないことが増えるわけではありませんでももしこれをしようと思ったらこれまでのシリーズと比べてものすごくいろいろなことができるようになっています例えば公共事業という名目で村の屋外にいろいろなオブジェを置いて村長さんの個性があふれた村を作っていくことができますし条例という名目で自分のプレイスタイルを村の暮らしに反映させることもできますそれから好きな家具を集めて自分らしい家を作っていくのも動物の森の楽しさの一つですが本作では家具の色を変えたり布地を張り替えてリメイクすることができますので家具のバリエーションは非常に増えましたさらに家の外観もアレンジできるようになりましたので外から見ても中に入ってもオーナーの個性があふれた家づくりが実現できますもちろんプレイヤー自身の服装についてもトップスボトムス靴といった要素に分けられて組み合わせの自由度が格段に増えましたのでファッション面でも
アレンジのしがいがあると思いますそれから本作は通信プレイの要素にも非常に力を入れましたこれまで同様に友達の村に遊びに行くことはもちろんすれ違い通信でいろいろな人の家を見ることができますしインターネットを介して知らない人の村を見に行ったり常夏の島で一緒にミニゲームのツアーを楽しむこともできます一足先に昨年11月に発売された日本ではすでに270万人以上の村長さんが誕生していますし秘書の静江さんのツイッターにはフォロワーが16万人もいて任天堂の公式ツイッターのフォロワー数よりも多くの人が注目してくださっていますこの任天堂ダイレクトをご覧の皆さんも早く村長さん仲間に加わってほしいのですがローカライズにもう少しだけ時間をいただきたいと思いますお待たせして申し訳ありませんがアニマルクロッシングニューリーフはこれまでのシリーズの集大成と言えるほど内容が満載ですのでぜひ楽しみにしてください今日はご覧いただいてありがとうございました Many thanks to Eguchi san for that message You can find out much more about the game by watching a full length Japanese presentation from Eguchi san and his development team Now with subtitles on our Nintendo Direct website after the presentation ends Please make sure you stop by and watch it Don't forget that Animal Crossing New Leaf will be available both from shops and as a download from Nintendo eShop. The digital version of the game is especially useful as you don't have to switch game cards and you always have the game to hand. I hope you check Nintendo eShop for the downloadable version. Don't forget that as well as purchasing downloadable games with a credit card, You can also add funds to your account with a Nintendo eShop card like this one. These come in denominations of 15, 25, and 50 euros or pounds and can be purchased at shops across Europe. And now for an announcement about a new entry in the popular Mario vs. Donkey Kong series. In this downloadable spin off, you will take on over 180 levels. With four different game modes and four all new mini games. The game is set in a mini toy carnival, and this time Donkey Kong is not the enemy, but has actually teamed up with p o r i n to run a game arcade. There are five different toys to control, including a mini Mario, of course, but also mini Princess Peach, mini p o r i n mini Toads, and finally mini Donkey Kong. As well as the many core gameplay levels, the game will feature a newly designed level editor and user generated content support for all players. You can expect to see this download title in Nintendo eShop in Europe in the second quarter of this year. For our final part of today's Nintendo Direct, I'd like to finish with a new announcement. Donkey Kong has long been a fan favorite character, but he's yet to star in a game on Nintendo 3DS. Until now, we are bringing the smash hit platformer Donkey Kong Country Returns to Nintendo 3DS this summer. This version of the game is being rebuilt from the ground up for Nintendo 3DS. The game's 3D graphics really have to be seen to be believed. So, we are making a special 3D video of the game available exclusively on Nintendo eShop later today. I hope you enjoyed today's Nintendo Direct. Make sure you head over to our Nintendo 3DS Facebook page for even more material on today's announcements. Thanks for watching and happy gaming! <laughs>